first of all, I'm going to ask you, what are the, um, do you have any statements to make about the recent investigation um, by DOE into a supposed inappropriate conduct between you and the same student who's accusing John Fernandez in March? Yes. Um, uh, this incident happened way back in uh, March. And I was sent down to central office for to conduct an investigation. So I believe by now it's about a little bit over 90 days. You know, the six days rule that you must uh, take action within 60 days. So as of, uh, you know, uh, last month, I, I'm heading back to JP Torres on July 15th. So apparently there isn't any serious findings. Otherwise, I won't be heading back. Okay. So. Is it true that the student changed in your office? That's true. Did I see the kid? No. The, uh, uh, I'll give you a copy of, uh, no, I, I specifically told the student to go to the restroom or the, or the main office and she didn't follow my instructions. Now she, she wrote an email to the superintendent, you know, that, that uh, Mr. Mace is like a father to me. I know the family well. I know the father way back in, in, when I was teaching down at Inner Ranger High. And she admitted, I, I made an error. I was, I, I did it without his permission. Mr. Mason is not like that. He's like a father to me. Uh, he, he didn't say anything. It was my fault. So, Mr. Superintendent, there's nothing to investigate. Mr. Robert Cost, there's nothing to investigate. It was my fault. Mr. Mason is out too long. I think he should be back. He didn't do anything wrong. Um, I'll not show you the email transmission. Okay, and is there anything um, you like I mean, to talking about the victim, the victim said that, you know, on a WhatsApp to the superintendent. Okay, so um, as far as the allegations against Superintendent John Fernandez, can you tell us anything, uh, what, what is your involvement with that? What is your take on that? Well, as, as the media has said thus far, they're investigating the case, you know, I allowed the FBI, the PD, uh, the, the, the police to truly really investigate that uh, regarding those allegations. I, I'm not at liberty at this point in time to make any comment about those areas. Um, okay, can you tell us how you, you got involved in uh, the sexual misconduct allegation? Well, as the principal of the school, you know, I, I'm obligated to report uh, a, any possible sexual harassment, sexual solicitation, or official misconduct, um, as well as the teachers that were involved that were reporting this to me. Uh, so, so that's my obligation. Otherwise, I will be responsible if something happens and uh, you know I didn't do anything about it. Now, for your information, there were some issues of suicide as a result of you know that incident. Kid is having ideation of suicide. Kid don't want to come back to school because of a play that was conducted at school. I was gone to make things a little bit interesting to have some more melodrama. And that, that's not right. I believe the acting principal who took my place should be uh, disciplined for that. Because, you know, you're responsible for the school. No activity or any kind of play should be, be, be should take place without your permission as the captain of that ship. So uh, when were you made aware of these allegations uh, by the student against John Fernandez? I'm sorry? When were you made aware of the allegations from the student or, or teachers regarding the specific, specific case with John Fernandez? You know, re recent uh, incidents uh, at the school, uh, you know, when we had that Chamorro week, they were, you know, that's all. So when know. was Chamorro week? Uh, March. When we had our activities, go March 17, 2016. So. Okay, uh, so one of the students, uh, Alana Flores, her friend, uh, came out to KUAM and said that you were pressuring her mom or asking her mom to have her uh, support Alana's claim. What do you have to say about that? Is that true? I did call up the, uh, are you talking about Ashley Santos? Okay, I just want to make sure. I, I did call up the mother and, and I talked to Ashley herself and, because I know they're best friends with Alana. And it's just like any relationship, you know? I mean, it's just the beginning of school, they're best friends and if you're really truly a best friend, you, you will support your friend right or wrong. You know, 
and, and that was basically what I was encouraging her to do. But, but I went further and I said, support your friend begs on the truth. Okay, now, you know, I, I was supposed to say this at the very beginning, I got nothing to hide. Uh, you're hearing the truth from me, you know, uh, so. And that's basically what I, I was uh, talking to, uh, well, what I was saying to, to the parents and to the student, my student at the school, you know. Okay. Support the truth. Talk about it, about the truth, based on the truth. Okay. Okay, so DOE is, um, or specifically Fernandez and seven members of the board signed a complaint, criminal complaint alleging blackmail that um, they were asked for money, $10,000, and, and employment in exchange for uh, keeping it quiet or not bringing it to the media. Do you have anything to say about that? Well, here, here's the memorandum that regarding the job issues. Uh, it's just I need that you receive my my copy. Because uh, we discussed that, you know, I, I was having the informal meetings or mediation meeting with with the chairman of the board, Lord Sir Nicholas, and uh, Rosie Tanetongo, vice chair, and 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 these issues have uh, you know came up on trying to resolve the matter. Um, so. The job, for example, uh, I don't see how I anybody's extorting or blackmailing anybody for a job. When we discussed that on, on June 14, uh, and I personally say, in my uh, email to the chairwoman on, on, on June 19, they made a report to, to the police on the 22nd of June. And here's what I said in writing to her. There was discussion that Mrs. Palomo was interested in getting a permanent job as well as Alana's mother. I informed Mrs. Palomo and Alana that it is illegal to offer a job to anyone by the superintendent or, or the chairwoman of GEB. This issue cannot be placed on the table. Okay, so... So as, uh, nobody offered, uh, nobody mentioned about any job uh, as, as a condition to, uh, to protect the superintendent or, or to, to drop the, the cases. There, there was never a case. You know, all this unofficial meeting with the board, uh, the attempt was to mediate, to solve these problems at the lowest level. And that's quite a challenge, to solve a sexual harassment at the lowest level. Now, Madam Chairwoman, what do you mean by that? Okay, so you said that you became aware of the issue back in March during Tomorrow Week. When did you first bring it to the board's attention? Uh, I'm sorry? You're, you said you became aware of the issue between John Fernandez and the student back in March. But when did you first bring it to the board's attention? I was taken out of March, out of the school in March. So I uh, wasn't able to, uh, but I, w I was hearing some you know, issues about that. So an acting principal was appointed at that point in time. So why didn't you report it yourself at that time? Because I didn't have all the information. Okay, so did the student tell you herself that um, what had happened? Yes. You know, I had to do some uh, investigating myself. Um, you know, interestingly enough, PDN asked me, um, why didn't I report it back in January? I said, I don't have the evidence. I mean, you know, WhatsApp, how, how do you get the WhatsApp uh, uh, communication? And you gotta be careful. Well, when you charge somebody a serious, a serious crime like sexual harassment, she better have your positive evidence. Because if you don't, they can counter sue you. So what yeah. made you change your mind in me? Well, I, I got some positive evidence in me. There, there are additional uh, information that, that, that led me to that, uh, which has nothing to do with, you know, um, the CSC decision that I won for both the cases that I have with Civil Service Commission and the, the Supreme Court, or Superior Court, uh, so, about my pay, my back pay. So can you say what the additional evidence was that changed it from previous 
Well, like I said earlier, you know, uh, this was, was given out to, to the chairperson of the GEB, and they're also studying that to see what they're going to do uh, with the superintendent. And GPD got all this information, uh, as well as FBI, and I think they're disp I'm waiting for their disposition. Okay. I believe I'm not at liberty to discuss those specifics. Okay, any, to the last, media. any last comments? Is there anything else you'd like to see happen moving forward? Well, I wish the superintendent would be really be honest about this whole thing, be truthful. Uh, if he's really got nothing to hide, allow all those communication with WhatsApp since the beginning of the year, since August. Because my understanding that he's been communicating to students since August of last year. And if he, if, I, if he really believes that he's got nothing to hide, he's telling the truth, then we don't need to go to the judge to get all this information. Give the media the, 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 the permission to, to look into it. Give the police the permission. Give the FBI the permission. Uh, and they don't have to go to the judge to, to, to make this happen. Okay, thank okay. you.